Well, good morning. A very, very warm welcome to you. If you're visiting, a very special welcome to you. Here on this uh, lovely, lovely day, we're going to have baptisms. It's going to be fun. I have lost my keyboard player. Here he is. No one is listening. We're here really to celebrate people being baptised. In many ways, what they're, they're saying is, at one point I was lost and now I'm found. And, and baptism is a symbol of all of that. First, first of all, it doesn't make you a Christian. Baptism does not save you, so to speak. It's a symbol, and I think it could not be more obvious than today. Because those who are being baptized have been Christians, have been followers of Jesus for many, many years. As the person is lowered into the water, they're declaring that their own ambitions, their own dreams, their own failings, their own faults, their own wanderings, they're all dead. They're all gone. They're being lowered as you were into the grave. Everything from their past is declared as dead. It's kind of serious, I suppose, isn't it? But it's also so mega cool. There's been a lot going sort of on in my life, in my own head, in terms of what I've been doing in my spiritual life. And um, I've been hurt once before when I got confirmed when I was 16. And then soon after, I sort of got, you know, spiritual attacks. Um, where it got me into a lot of trouble at school. So I, I guess I'm sort of a bit, I've always said, you know, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. And my home group are like, yeah, you've got to do this, you've got to do this. I should have got baptised years ago. And I think, I don't think I haven't been baptised because people keep saying you should be baptised. But equally, I wanted to do it when I was ready, not when other, everyone else said I should yeah, do it. absolutely. I really didn't want to be baptised because my confirmation had been quite a meaningful one. So I was 15, yep. I entered into it fully understanding what was going on. I believe at the time I was baptised in the Holy Spirit as well. It was really meaningful. And God was just on my case completely. And then God showed me a picture of my boys, uh, Reuben, Jonah and Toby, watching me being baptised. And it struck me what an amazing witness that would be to those three. Mm. Um, to show them that I was going to obey what God wanted. I guess for me I'm being baptised because I love God and He is my Saviour. But also to show them and the church that I can submit and be obedient sometimes. <laughs> I mean, the Lord just blessed us and answered our prayers, gave us a house, gave me a job. We gained Chris as well. Uh, <laughs> gave them an employee, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Like, it's just yeah. it's genuinely surprising mm. how things work out mm. when you have a bit of faith. Well, Michelle saying to me as well, she's like, if you don't do it this time, because obviously every time I've had that feeling of doing it, she was like, I think you'd look back and kind of probably regret not mm. doing it. And she was like, the Bible just says believe and be baptised. It doesn't have to be a massive thing. It doesn't have to be... You don't you have know. to have a PhD in the Bible. No, no. and I think that's okay. Yeah. But I'm still, te I'm still trying to tell myself that is okay mm. and that is fine to be baptised because of that reason. But there's not some amazing story behind it. No one's sort of been trying to push me in the pool. Well, a few times. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this feels much more like I have been looking looking to do this for a long long time and you know, i kind of see this as a celebration mm. and i want my kids to see that i'm just i'm really pleased that you just said and i thought my kids are going they're like what mm. you're going in there they're like mom doesn't get her help <laughs> <laughs> i just see what god's done for me yeah. and for other people and it's amazing no it's not freezing it's just nicely cool on such a hot day so Kat, is Jesus Christ your Lord and Saviour? Yes. And seek to follow him and serve him as your Lord? I am. I do. Chris, do you trust in him? I do. Do you believe that he gave himself freely for you in death so that you could be forgiven and that he rose again so that you could receive new and eternal life in him? 100%. It is our privilege to baptise you in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 